is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 27 guys yes we are back here today with another surgery video you can see we actually have clogged up the screen here we got a ton of stuff going on today we got boots and head scans and freaking fix-ups and just uh, all kinds of swippages and swappages you guys know how we do and we actually have some frankenstein efforts going on here but um we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it together and um some of them aren't part switches some of them are just a a couple things I want to show you guys. I think uh, one or two of them is just showing off or maybe three of them. I don't know. But we are going to be doing some Frankenstein efforts and stuff. And then we have some things that uh, I want to show you guys that are pretty that I'm pretty excited about for future fix-ups and customs. So we'll get into that. But uh, let's go ahead and show off the figures that I want to show off before we even get into surgery, guys. The first thing that I guess I can start off with is this figure back here. And it is a custom head scan. And I really don't know how to feel about it. So I need your guys' help down below. I was trying to make a custom MJF. If you guys don't know who MJF is, he is a AEW signee. He is a young and upcoming wrestler in AEW. And if you guys watch Double or Nothing, you will know that uh, he's the one, you know, that was in the Battle Royal. He picked on Bret Hart, and uh, he was a part of the AEW Championship ceremony. He came out and, you know, uh, caused a bunch of ruckus, and he's probably going to be one of the top heels over there. And I used an Alberto Del Rio head skin. I like the way it came out there, um, but I don't know how I feel about it. I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think, and uh, if you guys know who it uh, who MJF is, but anyways, there is the MJF head scan. I did want to include that in the video here just to get an opinion real quick, but uh, let's get back into the other fix-ups that I have. The next fix-up, guys, is the figure from the last figure surgery. It was Bad Luck Fale. A lot of people commented it down below. They were like, I think you're making Bad Luck Fale, and here he is, guys, and I'm pretty excited with the way it came out. You know, it's not perfect by any means, but you guys know we did pop that head scan on there. We had the, I, I think I called him Akum, but it was really Razor. We got the Razor head scan, Razor body, and then remember we put those rock legs on there and it, pr it pretty much turned out perfectly. I did paint all the tattoos, I added the tattoo to the chest, acetoned off all those, uh, uh, the Umaga arms, I acetoned all that stuff off, custom painted all of these tattoos that you see. Still don't have the hands in there, I think I'm going to put some, uh, it'll probably be Razor gloves, you know, the Razor hands with the gloves on it because Fale does rock those gloves sometimes. And I also did custom paint up the head scan, I removed the hair and the mohawk, I added his tattoo to his skull. I repainted the facial hair, removed the beard, I painted up the lips, and I added the grill to his teeth. And if you want to, guys, I add some sunglasses right here, and it even looks more like Fale. So I think that uh, this will totally work for a custom bad luck Fale. And I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. It's not perfect by any means, but I think it gets the job done. There, the, So there is bad luck Fale. He's looking good. He's looking grand. So there is that. I wanted to make sure that I showed that off from the last surgery video. And then the last fix-up that I think I want to show you guys before we get in oh my god the last figure that i want to show you guys before we get into the surgery itself and you know explain exactly what we're going to do is this fandango and you guys will see this on the next episode of vindication because fandango is on that episode but what i did was took off that massive torso and i torso swapped it for a randy orton torso and tell me this doesn't look so much better guys i love the way this came out i think it looks much much better very clean it was fun to pose around and one thing i do hate about this figure guys is this, this freaking right leg gets loosey goosey that pisses me off i'm gonna have to mod podge it or something but this is what i did i removed the jacked arms put some uh, i think it's either zack Ryder arms or something i'm not exactly sure what arms these are but they do match in skin tone you have the randy orton torso which looks so much better for fandango and i'm very happy with it overall I had to acetone off the tattoo on the top and it just worked out a whole lot better so i really love fandango now he looks great and uh, i'm excited for fashion police and the future of uh, of vindication guys so now that we've covered all the fix-ups that i wanted to show you guys now we can get into the actual thing that we're going to be doing today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 27. So we have a lot of stuff going on here. You guys will see the Iron Man Champion is laying down on the thing. Got the Iron Man Championship in his hand here. You guys know that I made this fix up Cody Rhodes a long time ago and um, I, I really am sick of these boots, man. The freaking boots, the, the ankle joints, these are Heath Slater boots. And for the time, the, the fix up was pretty cool. You know, it's the Elite 56 Carl Anderson legs, which really work well. They're kind of loose now. I need to tighten them up just like Fandango because I'm posing them around all the time. You guys see it used to say hashtag KA. I changed it to a CR. But these boots right here, man, they're the Cody Rhodes style boots, but they get so loose and they're just crappy and they fall off and stuff. So I had an idea of what I'm going to do, guys. I took some white laced up boots and this is so, 
excited because I cannot wait to do this in the future. I took some white laced up boots and I have learned how to sand now guys, like sand to where it's smooth and nice. And I took some white lace boots and I sanded off the laces and now I made them into Cody Rhodes style boots. So now I have some white versions and I'm going to pop these onto the Cody Rhodes and he's going to look kind of how like he did at the beginning of the pick fed but instead of having the laces he'll have the nice Cody Rhodes style boots and he won't have just plain black tights he'll have actual you know two sweet logos and bullet club logos on there with the CR and everything so I think this will look a lot better than the black and plus it won't be you know so loosey goosey so we're going to be switching that out another figure that we're going to do guys is this head scan right here I posted it on Instagram guys I took one of my Milko Mania I had an extra Milko Mania Elite Kurt Angle you guys can see over here I do have an extra on the shelf. I took the head scan and I sanded everything down and now it is completely bald. You guys will see. So I turned it into an older angle with the screaming head scan. Turned out really nice. And so what I'm going to do is take this and pop it onto this uh, Elite 59 angle. I'm going to put the screaming head scan on here. Then we're going to switch these arms with the Milko Mania over here so we get the, the, you know, the plain arm look because he didn't have these graps. He had, you know, just regular arms. So we'll switch these arms over here. Pop this this head scan over here and then for the lower legs we're gonna have to switch these lower legs right here not the shin part but just like this part uh, we're gonna have to put that over here and then we're gonna have to pop on these red elite 59 Kurt angle boots and then after that we're oh my god I knocked over Cena again we're going to have to take the shoes off of this guy. We're going to put them over here on this John Cena. And after that, we're going to take the arms from this John Cena, put them over here so I get the chain gang look. I get the black and white chain gang wristbands. Put them over here with the gray, black, and white shoes. And then the final part... The final part that we'll do is take the head scan from this WrestleMania Elite and put it over here, and we'll have sort of a fix-up John Cena that I think will look really, really nice. I know that that was a lot to take in, but I think I did explain it. I showed you the fix-ups, and now that we've done all that, guys, I guess we can start off with Cody Rhodes, and then we'll move on to Angle and Cena, because they, you know, they all can jump parts and all the mismatch and whatever. So, with that being said, guys, let's get into our first swap here on Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, I got the trusty white hair dryer. I'm just going to put it in position. I really like boot swaps, because they're very simple. You know, it's very heat and switch and just very, very simple stuff. So let's go ahead and hit it. I say it's simple and then I blow the mother effer away. I mean, my God. I mean, what, what, what are we living for? All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that should be good enough. So what we're going to do is take the Heath Slater boot like so. Go ahead and just pop it. Just like that, go to the other side, do the same thing. Go over here to the white boot, which I think will look much better. We'll take a look at it at the end. We're not gonna take a look at it now because, you know, we, we, saved, the, we, fa we saved the final result for the end. So we'll go ahead and switch that. Now that we have done Cody Rhodes, guys, let's move on to the next thing of business, which will be the Kurt Angle, I think. Uh, yeah, the Kurt Angle. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the, that's John Cena, you stupid idiot moron. All right, guys, I got the two Kurt Angles stacked on top of each other. We're just gonna put it in position right here. Hopefully they don't blow away. You know what, I know they're gonna blow away. Let's go ahead and just get the old stretcher in position here just to hold it for a split second. You know, hopefully we don't have any problems here. But we're going to heat up these lower legs. Remember, we got to switch lower legs between the angles. Take the shoes off of the angles so we can set them aside for our John Cena. And uh, we, got, we got a lot of work to do. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. You guys know I struggle with these lower legs sometimes, man, especially when they, you know what, let's go ahead and get these off since they're right here. Go ahead and pop that, oh my Lord God in heaven. So go ahead and pop this one off. The peg should come out with it, I guess not. So both of them didn't even pop out the peg. My, my God, come on, Brad. All right, we got that. We can go ahead and just poke the peg out. So there's the peg, there's the lower leg. Gotta do the same thing over here. And we pop the lower leg off. Go ahead and get the peg out. So we got both pegs, both whatever. Now we're done with this unless the arm pops pop off. Yeah, arms ain't popping off, Brad. What are you, stupid moron? All right, get over here. We'll uh, bend the leg a little bit, get this down here, see if we can finagle it. Uh, yeah, we did finagle it. Beautiful job there. So we'll go ahead and pop that down. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop the peg out. Oh my God, you dropped it. You dropped it, it's gone forever. All right, we'll go to the next one here. This one should be easier because it was closer, right? It's closer, so we'll go ahead and pop that off. There's that and that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these because um, I can always add those later on after we attach 
attach the lower leg. So now that we've done this, I might as well try and attach this, right? I doubt I get it, but you know what? We might as well try it. And so slide this through here, because I really don't care about attaching the other lower leg, so I, I really don't give a crap. So we'll go ahead and pop this on here, and it's not gonna work, you stupid moron. Let's just go ahead and pop this off. So we got that lower leg, there's that lower leg. Gotta pop this shoe off as well. So there's the shoe that we need for Cena. And this little lower leg part can go over here with these because we don't care about it. We'll go ahead and pop the uh, the peg in here as well. And then I guess with this leg, we can go ahead and try and snap this off. So there we got that. So we got both lower legs done. We have both shoes ready. I feel like these shoes have better articulation than Cena's. Am I crazy or is that true? So there's the two shoes we need for Cena. We can go ahead and toss that back there for Cena. And then we have the two lower legs that nobody cares about. We'll put these up here with the Heath Slater boots from Cody. And the knee pads are off to the side as well. Um, so what we need to do now, get this peg out of here. What we need to do now is get these lower legs hot enough to uh, go on to these pegs because they're clearly not hot enough anymore. And I guess while we're heating this up, we can go ahead and heat the arms up of the angle and possibly the head scans. I doubt we can get all of that, you know, heated up, but you know, we, we can try it, I guess. Just go ahead and plop this here. Go ahead and shove these lower legs down in here. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but we can we can at least attempt it. I'll just heat up this, this top part right here and maybe these lower legs will get stuck in there. And then where's that bald angle head scan at? Oh, it rolled to the backstage. Okay, so we'll get back here and we'll get this and we'll do the same thing. We'll just plop it down in there if it gets hot enough, it gets hot enough. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And it's not a big deal. We can just uh, reheat it later. But we'll put this all in position. And again, I'm just going to heat it all up. I doubt that it gets it all. But you know what? I've seen crazy things here on action figure surgery. Anything's possible. So let's go ahead and hit it. And hopefully this stupid uh, stretcher doesn't blow away. And it actually holds everything in place. And everything gets heated up. But, you know, we, we'll only know if we hit it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just see how it goes. Um, I guess we can try the head scan first just to go with it. And success. Now we'll toss that head scan aside because it's absolutely trash. And we'll go ahead and plop on the, uh, oh my God, it just went straight on there. It didn't even think twice. All right, so that's on there. Now we have to switch the arms. Let's see if we can get that done. Go ahead and pop that arm off. Pop that other arm off. Go over here to the epic moments. Go ahead and pop that arm off. These don't have the same articulation. That's what sucks. Um, it has that newer arm, tick, uh, you know, the the new basic sort of uh, bendy elbow that I absolutely hate. But you know, it shouldn't it shouldn't cause us any problems. You know, it's not a big deal. This is just going to be on display anyways. It's not going to be like a big important figure here. So uh, is this the left leg? I got to make sure I get the left leg. Um, I'm wasting valuable time. I'm wasting valuable time. Is it the left? Yes, it is the left. So we'll go right here. Try and plop this on to the peg. And I believe we got it, or if we didn't get it, we're close. And then same thing over here with the right leg. Got to do the same thing. And then we have to plop those boots on there after we put the knee pads on. Don't forget your knee pads, because then uh, you'll have to reheat up the boots and you don't want all that trash. So, oh, the, the legs are so close here. We're so close with the legs. God, I always hate this. All right, guys, I think I did get it. I actually got those lower legs on there. Now we have to go ahead and plop our knee pads on there. I think this is the left one, should be the left one. I'm not gonna show this on camera. Like, oh, the legs all bendy and ish. Uh, the next portion you will see will be, I guess, heating up those boots, and I guess we can heat up the Cena shoes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these on here, and then we will uh, we'll pop those red boots on there while heating up all the John Cena-ish that we got to switch. All right, guys, I have all the stuff in position. I got the knee pads on the Kurt Angle, so what we're doing here in this one take, I doubt that we get it, you know. I mean, it's gonna at least it's not lower legs or anything like that, but we got to heat up this John Cena's feet while heating up these sneakers, while heating up the Kurt Angle boots, while heating up these arms, while heating up that head scan and see if we can get it all in one take. The re You're probably asking yourself, Brad, why don't you just take this Cena and switch the head scan and the shoes? Well, Brad, it's because these legs are super duper loose. These are way more tight and, uh, you know, I, I do what I want to do. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on. I'm kind of afraid to touch everything, but uh, let's go ahead and just see what we got going on. Okay, first of all, these arms, this arm was in the back, so if this arm will come off, there we go. We're, we're cooking with peanut oil, guys. We may make it. That, we're done with that. Now we just got to pop it over here on this. 
Um, let's see if we can get it. There's the right arm and the left arm. Come on, don't fail me now, Brad. All right, got that on there. Now we gotta switch these shoes out. These shoes are complicated sometimes. These popped off. Now we got to uh, put this on here. Oh, don't blow it. I told you guys, these, these are always rough. I don't know what it is. It's like the way they mold it and you gotta like manipulate it into that peg. Did we get it? I think we got it, I don't know. If we didn't get it, then we didn't get it. We'll have to reheat it. I probably won't re-show the, the heating process, but you guys know what we're doing here. So go ahead and get that on. Come on, Brad, get it on there. I think we got it. Did we get it? I can't freaking tell. I don't think we did. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the head scan because the head scan will cool off and then we're going to blow it. And I don't want to blow it. So there we go. Go ahead and take this Cena. Go ahead and pop this head scan on here. And then we're done with Cena now. All right, we got the head scan on there. Now we're done with Cena. Now all we have to do is plop these red boots onto the Kurt Angle and then we will be done with this episode of Action Figure Surgery. And I cannot believe we actually... Got that all in one take. That's pretty impressive, guys. All right, we got it on there. So now we can go ahead and line everything up, guys. We actually completed it all in one take. So now we're going to line everything up and see everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 27. All right, guys, so here's everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, excluding the fix-ups that you saw in the beginning with the Fandango, the MJF, and the, the Bad Luck Fale. But here we go. I am a stupid idiot moron. You guys will see that the head scan looks pretty good on this, on this body. I mean, the arms don't fit all the way. I think there's like a slight gap. Maybe not, but this head scan does not look bad on this body, really. It doesn't sit too low, I think, because the jaw's wide open. I mean, it, if you spin it around, maybe a little bit. But down here, I'm so stupid. I thought that these lower legs... Like, look at this big gap right here. I thought these lower legs were the same lower legs they used for Kurt Angle because it was a Milko Mania Kurt Angle figure, right? You would think they'd use the same lower legs that they used on the Elite Series 59. That is not the case. You guys can see there. I know I have lower legs that will that will fit here. I just have to find them in the fodder box. It'll take me a minute to go through and kind of, you know, uh, figure out which one that is. So that sucks that there's a gap, but the figure doesn't look half bad. Um, I, I know it looks like he's like overweight or something. He tried to put on boots that are too small or something or like these these laces are tight, too tight or something. He just shoved his foot down in there anyways. But um, I, I mean that does suck about the angle, but it's not a huge deal. The Kurt Angle still looks pretty good uh, with, with that gap even there. But that is it for Kurt Angle, guys. Let's move on to Cody Rhodes. I really like the way Cody Rhodes came out right here. You guys will see the current Iron Man champion on Vindication right here. Look at the boots. They look so clean. You guys can see that none of that, uh, none of those laces are there and it looks so nice, man. The white just contrasts so well. I did also shave off the, the tongue of the boots is also shaved off and it's just so clean, man. It really ties it together nicely and makes it, it gives it that Cody Rhodes boots look and again, I'm going to have to tighten up the legs. They're super loose right now. Like, look at that right there. You can't pose that man around. How is he going to defend the Iron Man Championship when his legs are falling off. So I will have to tighten that up, but the Iron Man Championship looks good, and I'd honestly like to remake a whole new Cody or something. I just like, I don't like his attires because uh, his customs, they, they require a lot of paint, and I like to make customs for the pig fed that don't require any paint or as little as paint as possible. Like, little touch-ups is fine, but I like to have as minimal paint as possible. That way, when you're posing it around, first of all, the, the simplistic customs are the best ones, and then, you know, you ain't gotta worry about the paint chipping off when you're posing it around. It's not sticky. It just feels like really good and it looks really good. It's really clean. So there is Cody and then the final fix up guys is the John Cena and the John Cena I think turned out the best guys. Look at it head to toe with that head scan with those armbands with these shoes. I think it turned out fantastic. I love the camo shorts contrasting with the beautiful Nike trainers that Kurt Angle was wearing on that night. Obviously they can't put the Nike swoosh but uh, during the Milko Mania he did have Nike trainers on and these shoes that Mattel made combined with the camo shorts combined with the white and black chain gang armbands and the you can't see me over here just beautiful i wish i had i wish mattel would release the double white with the uh with the chain gang up here it's pretty much these wristbands but over here too so he had he was rocking the double white i really like that look and i kind of wish that the shorts were longer but it still looks good nonetheless uh, the shorts being longer would be more accurate but i really do like this cena and since cena isn't the MD cha mdt champion right now he did lose it to roman reigns at the mdt royal rumble i probably will be uh, using this look for Cena going forward in the pick fed. We'll just have to see, but I really do love the way that this may be my favorite figure from the uh, from today's extra figure surgery, guys. I just like that. The contrast looks so good, but 
Please let me know down in the comment section below which figure you think looks the best. I would love to know down in the comment section below. What do you think about the new Cody Rhodes laced slash sanded off boots now? What do you think about the Kurt Angle screaming head scan on this body? I would love to know. Also, the MJF Bad Luck Fale and the Fandango Torso. Let me know what you think about everything down in the comment section below, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy episode 27 of WWE Action Figure Surgery. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.